The Pirador makes a great guard dog or watchdog. It has a deep bark to alert owners of strangers that is intimidating but not aggressive or violent. The Pirador, also called the Labranese, Laparines, or Pyre Lab, is a hybrid dog breed that is a cross between the Great Pyrenees and a Labrador Retriever. It is a large size thick coated dog with colors of black, yellow, white, or chocolate, a large, deep chest, and a powerful body. This hybrid dog is a few decades old. However, the Labrador Retriever is a sporting breed that dates back to 19th century Newfoundland, where it was used as a working dog by fishermen, and the Great Pyrenees is a working breed that goes back to the early 1600s where it was used for sheepherding in the Pyrenees Mountains between France and Spain. Today, the Pyrador is a popular working breed as well as a companion pet. Due to being a hybrid dog and able to favor the traits of either parent or both parents, Pyrador's possible coat colors are yellow, chocolate, and black like the Labrador Retriever parent, or white or off-white with badger, gray, tan or reddish-brown markings like the Great Pyrenees parent. The Pyrador, or Labranese, is a large size, double coat, and medium to long hair dog with a weight range of 55 to 100 pounds for both males and females and a height range of 21.5 to 32 inches for both males and females, fully grown. Due to being a hybrid dog breed, the Pyrador has features from both parents but overall tends to favor the build of one parent, and many do not reach the full height and weight of the Great Pyrenees parent. Hence, its weight can range anywhere from 55 to 75 pounds, 70 to 90 pounds or 75 to 100 pounds due to the Labrador Retriever being medium-sized and the Great Pyrenees large or even giant-sized. Males tend to be larger than females in both weight and height. Pyrador puppies weigh about 12.5 pounds at 8 weeks of age and are typically fully grown between 18 to 24 months. The Pyrador is a hybrid dog that combines the best traits of both the Great Pyrenees and the Labrador Retriever, so it is a very hardy breed. On the other hand, it may have inherited health issues from both parents, such as hip and elbow dysplasia, or bloat, gastric torsion, and digestive issues, which occur more often in deep-chested dogs. Great Pyrenees are also prone to cancers such as osteosarcoma, a type of bone cancer, and reproductive cancers. In sum, the most common health issues Pyridors face are hip and elbow, joint, dysplasia bloat, gastric torsion, Digestive issues cancer as a hybrid dog breed. Pyridors blend the hunting instincts of the Labrador Retriever with the hunting instincts of the Great Pyrenees. However, they may favor the personality and traits of one parent over the other. Both parent breeds are working breeds, which share similarities in behavior. The Pyridor is generally known to have a loyal, protective, affectionate, and intelligent personality. Its inherited traits include alertness, an eagerness to please, obedience, and fast learning curve. In its behavior, it may herd family members and other animals, chase smaller animals due to its prey drive, and bark to alert its family of strange faces. New pet owners looking for how to care for Pyridors especially Pyridor puppies, must consider their age, size, activity level, and health issues. Whether it's health issues like joint dysplasia or digestive issues, or different care related to their fluffy coat and medium to large size, Pyridors have hybrid-specific factors that must be considered. Pyridors need a diet that is meant for their size, age, and activity level. Exercise and other activities should be limited after eating to avoid bloat, gastric torsion, and other digestive issues. As a larger, fast-growing dog, it should not be free-fed high-energy, calories, 
or high calcium food because it will cause mobility issues, including weight gain and orthopedic diseases. Starchy carbohydrates and grains are addictive and will make them continue eating even after they're full. Pyridors have a moderate tendency to gain weight. Pyridor puppy food. Because of their size and hybrid genetics, pyridors have a tendency to develop hip dysplasia. When considering a wet or dry dog food for large puppies consider a brand that is calcium-rich and contains a variety of other vitamins and minerals, with meat as the primary ingredient. It is best to feed your puppy small meals two to three times a day, rationing the daily recommended amount for its age. Pyridor adult dog food. Similar to puppy dog food considerations. Pet owners should consider feeding their adult Pyridor food that is high in calcium with meat as the primary ingredient, and avoid free feeding. Because Pyridors tend to be high-energy dogs who remain active well into adulthood, we recommend an active dog food variety that is high in calories with no grains that balance carbohydrates with fats and proteins. Pyridor coats come in black, white, cream, yellow or chocolate colors. It has a double coat that is thick and woolly and tends to be long. They need daily brushing with a curry groomer and during shedding season, brushing twice a day. With their long, floppy ears, they need weekly ear cleaning to avoid wax buildup and infection. Like other dog breeds, the Pyridor can display signs of separation anxiety since puppyhood. It can become depressed and destructive. However, it is simple to socialize and train because it is intelligent and a fast learner. It does best with a combination of vocal praise and rewards of treats. This breed can move easily from basic to advanced training. The Pyridor needs both indoor and outdoor activities. It is high energy, and so needs an hour of exercise every day. Although it doesn't need to have a backyard, you must be able to take your Pyridor for long walks. It also needs a variety of activities for physical and mental stimulation, such as swimming, fetch and tug of war. You can find Pyridor puppies through breeders rather than rescues. Like other dog breeds, exercise should be limited during puppyhood. It is recommended to allow 5 minutes of play for every month of age, and to limit activity after feeding. Pyridors greatly enjoy and are protective of children. However, they do best with older children since as a large breed, they can knock over small children. For this reason, you must always supervise your Pyridor around small children. Dog breeds similar to Pyridors are Great Pyrenees. Labrador Retrievers and Golden Retrievers. Newfoundland, a large working, heavy-coated, and well-balanced breed, similar to the Pyridor. Kuvas, a large, white, and flock guardian breed like the Great Pyrenees parent of the Pyridor. Only keen observation of subtle differences can tell them apart. Golden Pyrenees, this hybrid dog breed is a cross between the Golden Retriever and Great Pyrenees. It has a similar build, coat, and temperament to the Pyridor.